Hi, my name is Mahalakshmi Vedikaran and my metric number is 181887. Today, I would like to present my final year project proposal. The title of my project is Biohydrogen Production by Attached Biofilm Culture from Palm Oil Mill Affluent, which is also known as POME. My supervisor is Dr. Nur Shakina Binti Jamali and my coordinator is Associate Professor Dr. Tinia Idati Binti Mohammad Ghazi. Research background, problem statement, objective, assumptions and hypothesis, scope and limitation of study, literature review, methodology and conclusion are the content that I would like to discuss in today's presentation. Okay, first let's start with research background. Biohydrogen is a clean fuel which is derived from renewable energy. It is also known as environmental friendly resource which can reduce carbon dioxide emissions and will give usable bioenergy. Dark fermentation is the method used for biohydrogen production as it can decrease waste disposal and it can produce high amount of hydrogen. Palm oil meal effluent which is also known as POME is the raw material that will be used for this process. Next, problem statement. In Malaysia, palm oil mill effluent is a highly polluting wastewater which can cause severe environment problem. Thus, to overcome this problem, biohydrogen production from POME has been introduced. Immobilized cell system have been used for dark fermentation because cells won't wash out easily and can produce more hydrogen. For objective, to identify the amount of biohydrogen produced at different concentration of attached biofilm culture and to investigate biohydrogen production at different concentration of POME. Assumption and hypothesis. Dark fermentation is the method that have been chosen for biohydrogen production as it can operate without light and there will be no oxygen limitation problem and will increase the cell growth rate. So that's why we use dark fermentation method compared to other method. And the temperature that we use is thermophilic temperature which is in the range from 55 degrees Celsius to 70 degrees Celsius as the temperature is the most suitable temperature to produce more biohydrogen compared to mesophilic temperature at where the temperature is in between 35 to 40 degrees Celsius. Scope and limitation of study. To collect POME from nearest palm oil mill to carry out thermophilic duct fermentation method for the biohydrogen production. To use attached biofilm culture on POME as it won't wash out easily and will produce more biohydrogen to dilute the POME at different concentration, to use different density of microbe to check biohydrogen production. As for the limitation part, the collected POME must be stored at 4 degrees Celsius to maintain its quality. Next is literature review. First part of literature review is hydrogen production method. Photolysis is a method at where Water molecules absorb energy from ultraviolet radiation and will produce hydrogen. The second method is photovoltaic electrolysis system. In this method, photovoltaic cell converts sunlight directly into electricity and will produce hydrogen. The third method is wind power. Hydrogen can be produced by electrolysis using wind turbine and it has the greatest potential to produce pollution free hydrogen. And the last method that I have studied and gone through is hydropower. Electricity production from hydropower is also the source of hydrogen production. Next is factors affecting fermentation and biohydrogen production. There are three factors that is affecting both fermentation and biohydrogen production which are pH, metal ion and thermophilic temperature. pH should be in the range of 5 to 7 as it is the optimum pH for hydrogen production. Met metal ion is, is used to supply nutrient to the cell and it will produce more hydrogen. And the last one is thermophilic temperature which is 55 degrees Celsius and it is most suitable temperature for more biohydrogen production. 
Next is biohydrogen producing bacteria. There are three different type of bacteria which are facultative anaerobic bacteria, thermophilic bacteria and mixed culture bacteria. Facultative anaerobes produces ATP by aerobic respiration with the presence of oxygen and is capable of switching to anaerobic fermentation. Facultative bacteria can consume oxygen by aerobic respiration leaving an aerobic condition that favors to hydrogen production. Next is thermophilic bacteria. Thermophilic bacteria is a hydrogen, hydrogen producing bacteria at high temperature which is more favorable for hydrogen production. The last one is mixed culture. It gives higher yield and has highest capability to produce more hydrogen. Now I would like to discuss about methodology. There are four steps that have to be followed to conduct the experiment. First is cultivation of seed mixed culture followed by synthetic media then have to do analysis of sugar composition then followed by biohydrogen production have to identify biohydrogen production with different concentration of pomay and different concentration of attached biofilm culture. Now I would like to describe further about the first step which is cultivation of seed mixed culture. The seed mixed culture will be collected from palm oil meal. The microbial in the clutch will undergo heat treatment process at 80 degrees Celsius for 60 minutes to inactivate the growth of methanologic population before it being used as inoculum in the fermentation. The 10% sludge was cultivated in a 200 ml synthetic medium inside a 250 ml modified Scott Durand bottle with subsequent flushing during mixed nitrogen gas at a flow rate of 1 liter per hour. The fermentation mixture was adjusted to pH 6 and then kept at 60 degrees Celsius in water bath for 48 hours. And the next step is synthetic medium. The synthetic medium was slightly manipulated and it consists of glucose and xylose. Then I would like to describe further about analysis of sugar composition in pome. Sugar, sugar composition in pome was identified using the National Renewable Energy Laboratories as standard method. A series of dilution were done with distilled water of 20% increment on pome. The identification of different types of soluble monomeric sugars which is known as SMS was subjected to direct HPLC analysis while total monomeric sugars which is known as TMS was subjected to acid hydrolysis. The TMS analysis represented the amount of total sugars available in pome which including the SMS and the complex sugars intact in cellulosic fibers which is cellulose and hemicellulose. Hacid hydrolysis was used to obtain TMS in pome. After pome was diluted using distilled water at every 20% dilution increment, each samples were subjected to complex sugar degradation into monomeric sugar using 72% sulfuric acid. The mixture was autoclaved at 121 degrees Celsius for 1 hour. The samples will be prepared and analyzed using the HPLC. The volume of 72% sulfuric acid required for acid hydrolysis will be cal calculated in a table form. Next is biohydrogen production with different concentration of pome and different concentration of attached biofilm. Different concentration of pome and different concentration of attached biofilm will be written in a table form for thermophilic biohydrogen production was analyzed. The fermentation experiment using five different samples labeled A, B, C, D and E were placed in a modified lab scale glass bioreactor. The temperature was controlled to 60 degrees Celsius using hot water circulation from a water bath. The pH will be maintained at 6 and by adding 6, 
सिक्स एम के ओ एच और सिक्स एम हाइड्रोक्लोरिक एसिड द गैस मीटर विच इज नोन एज मिलीगॉस काउंटर इज यूज टू मेजर द बायोगैस जेनरेटेड फ्रॉम इट द सिस्टम विल बी एनालाइज कॉन्टिन्यूसली फॉर टू डेज एंड द बायोहाइड्रोजन विल बी कलेक्टेड फ्रॉम इट Now I would like to discuss about my research plan. First I'll be doing my literature review from October until November. Then I'll be doing my proposal presentation on December. I will conduct my experiments starting from January until the second week of February. Then I'll be collecting my data throughout my experiment. I'll be analyzing my data from last week of February until throughout the March. then finally i'll be start to do my report from march until may as a conclusion large amount of biohydrogen can be produced from pome as we use duct fermentation as a method and attached biofilm culture because attached biofilm culture won't wash out the cells easily and can help to produce more hydrogen that's all thank you